Hello everybody and welcome back and today I just like to do a little um commentary video talking about the state of Battlefront 1 in 2020. I have to have a little think about that for a second. Anyway, um yeah. What you see now is pre recorded gameplay. Um so yeah, this is um a commentary video. And I just like to say that, you know, while Battlefront 1 still is my favourite out of the two modern Battlefronts, it's still pretty obvious that the um, community is way less active than it, that it was back in the day. Um, I sound a bit like a, a granddad right now, but you know, you get what I mean. Um, and I checked some statistics, some estimates of the actual, you know, player base, and it turns out that about of a, I think it was a quarter of a million people, I think it was, play it um, monthly. And about a million and some at play Battlefront 2 monthly. And the the majority of people that actually like, play this are from Hungary, apparently. Sorry, no. The country that has the most active Battlefront 1 players is Hungary. You see, you know, just, just a little fun fact for you. And, yeah, um... It's not a great state, but considering that soon it'll be, um... 550 year anniversary of Battlefront 1... 2015. Um, I think it. I think it's um. It's quite an interesting thought that it's lasted as long as it has, because some games just die out. And but I, I must say I have a certain nostalgia from this game. Um, and and it. I know it sounds a bit you know daft, but still it was a part of my life, and I do care about it. So you know, but a lot of people just moved on to Battlefront 2, and I don't blame them to be honest. But you know. It's up to you, but today I'm going to talk about what it's like to play Battlefront 1, sorry, 1 in 2020. And it is, for start off, um, I'll, I'll just number this, number 1. It is, um, it's, it's been active really, M must, be, um, must be said. It's quite hard to get into games, to be honest. I've had some difficulty getting into them. Um, even the more popular game modes like Cargo, Walker Assault. Um, I've tried both the hero game modes. I had to take a couple um, <clears throat> a couple of goes at trying to get into a hero game mode. Sometimes when you try and get into a game, you'll just be thrown into a lobby with one random guy. And then that'll be a bit of a disappointment for you, but, you know. But, yeah, there is somewhat of an active play base. And you'll get into a game if you search for the right game mode. And you wait long enough. But... And it is still very fun to play. But, you know, it's just how it is. It's quite an old game now, considering it. It don't... And to be fair, it don't even feel like that. It feels quite recent that it came out, but still. You know, it is, it is quite um, quite hard to get into a decent game. There's a lot of... Um, there's, I'd say there's two types of players. <clears throat> there's people who have come back to it and they're still picking up where they left off. So they're a bit, you know... They're experienced, but they're not used to the um, people who the second type of people who constantly play it. They're um, they're always like using I think it's the EE three I think they call it. You know, Bob's gun. That's like the most popular gun. People just use that and like the back to bomb and the jetpack. I think it is um, because you know they figured out that's the perfect combo, so that's what they use. I like to use my um, as you'll see here, my medic loadout and. Yeah, that, that is that is pretty decent. Um, but I'm moving on to the next thing. Um, is what was it again? Can't I remember. Oh yeah, the um, playability is the game still good as it was before. Well, um, yeah, it is somewhat. It feels like there's a few issues that start being fixed. Like I ran into the odd bug. There was one weird instance when, like, the, um, actual cargo that you pick up were a bit glitched. They were, like, on the ground. Um, but, you know, you can't really, um, can't really pick too many holes at it. And there is a still, um, some glitches left over, like, I can't complete various hook contracts because, um, they, requ they require you to be in... To um, be in the right game for stars, which can be already quite hard because of 
um, point one, but um, they also can um, they can glitch out a little bit. They can make it so that you have to like complete all the goals in one game. I've run into that issue, um, and I've managed it if it, if I can actually like get into the game mode. But sometimes if you can't get into the game mode, you can't do it all. But yeah, it's it's generally a nuisance that as well. And a couple of things, um, proximity mines, eh, they don't feel, I mean, they never, you always get mad as you go past them, but, you know, they are pretty, um, feels like there's a delay with them. Some lag, I, um, sometimes when I'm running, I just sort of, like, start glitching out a little bit, that's quite irritating. But, you know, it's quite an old game. <coughs> and also... I guess this is point three. It's a bit unorganised this video, I'm not used to this kind of thing. Um number three is the future. What is the future of Battlefront One twenty fifteen? Um it is oh I've got no yeah, yeah, ignore that. Um The future is inevitably EA will shut down the servers one day and I don't know when. Don't know um say time soon but then the problem is without the multiplayer the game is like obviously you know mass multiplayer the game is pretty stale there's only skirmish game modes missions survival all of these things are just I think we can all admit they're not too fun you know it's, it's alright for a quick game of like you know the survival game modes um, I think I made a video out that once um, on the old channel but there's not much to it, is a um, it must be said, but you know, eventually, I mean, there ain't many profits really in anyway. I'm pretty sure they've actually discontinued the original version of the game on PlayStation Store, so you can't actually um, acquire that anymore. But you know, just how it is. So, I think that will conclude my little ramble. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, you know, just drop. Drop a drop a comment down below. Um, drop a comment stating, um, what what should what what should this comment state? This comment, the comment that you write, should state your favourite game mode in Battlefront One. If you didn't like the video, bug off. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.